What up everyone, it's your boy XMANY87 here bringing you another 2022 collection update video and what I have for you today. We're going to take a look at my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection display and my Gamerverse shelf. So let's start with MMPR. But before we get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, yeah. This is a big part of my childhood right here, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So first up, we have Zordon, and it does light up. So let me see if I could get this to light up here. And there we go. That looks so cool. Yeah, I had to have the batteries in there for the display video, and it looks really, really cool. It just, come on, realistically, this should be so much bigger. I mean, if they ever do a HasLab Command Center or something like that, um, they could really, really pull off a big Zordon head. So this just looks cool. Aye, 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 aye. We got Alpha. <laughs> Alpha looking really, really cool. And then we have the Red Ranger. So we got him here. And then we have the Green Ranger. And the White Ranger. My favorite Rangers. Uh, hardest life decision I'll ever make. Don't ever ask me to choose between the Green Ranger and the White Ranger. <laughs> if you ask me which one I love more, I can never decide. I love them both. I swear I love them both. I can never decide which one I love more. But yeah, White Ranger looking really, really cool. Green Ranger looking really, really cool. Gotta have him playing the Dragon Flute to summon the Dragon Zord. Oh my god, can you ever imagine the day we get a Hazlat Dragon Zord? That would be nuts. Or just a HasLab Megazord. Oh, man. Imagine how big that would be. And, yeah. White Ranger with the Saba. And we have the Pink Ranger here. And we got the Blue Ranger. So, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was my favorite Power Rangers. Zeo, I wasn't really into Zeo, man. I mean, I got the Gold Ranger figure because of Jason. Um, you know, I had a few of them, but I'm like, ah, I wasn't really a big fan. That's when it, like, took me out of Power Rangers, and I didn't really like the Zeo costumes. So, got the Black Ranger there. I do like the, the Zeo Megazord. That was pretty cool. Forgot the actual name of it. Or I think it was just the old Megazord, something like that. Here's the Yellow Ranger. I love my Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, so this whole shelf is MMPR related. So, over here, we got the Ranger Slayer and Lord Draken. I do have the Lord Draken in white, but I have the Pulse Gun here on display because this just looks absolutely amazing. So freaking cool, man. The lightning effect. I know I use this lightning effect for uh, my Marvel Legends Doctor Doom. Did a photo of that, but I like those battle damage helmets on there. So cool. Let me see if I could get close up without knocking anyone down. Yeah, so freaking cool. Love that Lord Dragon. Love that Ranger Slayer. I can't wait to get the rest of his uh, Ranger sentries. I cannot wait. I know I have the red one on pre-order because it's a Target exclusive. We got Finster. <laughs> it was little uh, clay making briefcase thing. So this is really, really cool. I love that Finster sculpt. It's a nice figure, man. This is one thing I love about Hasbro's Power Rangers line. It's the best Power Rangers line ever because look at how deep the roster is. I mean, we never really got a six a six inch dedicated Rita Raposa or Finster. And Lord Zed, fully articulated too. And look at Rita. <laughs> Make my monsters grow. She used to crack me up. And uh, yeah, this is this is great, man. Rita Repulsa came out very accurate. Uh, Lord Zed, so cool. I love this Lord Zed figure. So this is the one from the two pack. As you see, it has the corrected staff. And we got Goldar. Goldar looking tough, but honestly, he's not hes not gold enough for my liking, you know? He really isn't. They got to make him more gold. Not None of that plastic molded gold. 
Man, he's got to be painted all gold. But I like the sword right there and the effect. That's one thing about this line that I love is the effects. The accessories are really, really cool. Scorpino right there. I really like that Scorpino figure. Let me try to get closer. And that's about as close as I could get because I got the Red Ranger sword right there. And I don't want to knock him over and cause a domino effect. I got my Putty Patrol Army Builder right there. Got some, you know, some of Zed's putties right there. As you can see with the vest like the interchangeable parts. I wish I got more, man. That's the only thing. Wish I got more putties. And then uh, here are the Tenga Warriors. So, yeah, I have more of them as well. I just got two on display. I do have some of the Ninjetis, but I'm gonna wait to complete the whole squad to put them on display because I love those uh, Ninjetti looks. And uh, definitely want a ninja. I hope they make a ninja. Oh, that would be so cool. But yeah, I got the red. No, excuse me. I need the red and the yellow one when they come out. But I got the rest. The pink, white, blue, and the black ranger. So I got those. Pudgy pig. Got Parantis head. Um, and the pudgy pig I have, that's from the... Uh, that was the post-con exclusive that came with the special lunchbox packaging. So I got all the extra accessories because... Yeah, I'm a sucker for accessories. Sphinx, right there. I hope they give this guy an update and give him the correct paint. Uh, you got Eye Guy right there. Eye Guy came out really, really cool. I do like that. And we got Pumpkin Wrapper. So yeah, that is my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection shelf. Let me know what you think of that and also let me know who would you like to see next in the line And here we're going to look at my game reverse shelf So here is just a mix of a lot of my favorite video game characters So I need a lot more <laughs> uh, I still need to get a, a Mega Man and because I'm a huge video game fan And so there's a lot of characters that I love and I can keep this collection growing so this is a mix of all sorts of line so you'll see some hasbro stuff you'll see some mcfarland stuff some storm collectible stuff and here we go with kate diaz from gears 5 so i really i really like this character i like kate diaz a lot and storm collectibles always kills it with their video game figures yeah my boy marcus phoenix right there and got rainbow mika from Street Fighter V, uh, SH Figuarts, they did some really good stuff with their Street Fighter figures. I just like Storm Collectibles more. Speaking of Storm Collectibles, here's the Storm Collectibles Chun-Li. Dear God, those thick thighs. Yep, her and Mika, saving lives with them thick thighs. I love this Chun-Li figure because this was like my favorite uh alternate skin in the game and chun li is my main i always rock chun li and i love this uh battle arcade outfit you know i just wish i had cami but i sold her i, I want them to do a classic cami real bad but this chun li figure i absolutely love absolutely love this chun li figure and we got the mcfarland toys mk11 spawn which is such a dope figure this is his best figure in my opinion. I love this Spawn figure. So I had a lot of fun reviewing that and taking pictures. Marvel Selects Advanced Suit Spider-Man PS4. Love this figure too, you know, despite the limited articulation. I mean, you could modify the torso to give him more range. Um, yeah, I think once you do the mod modification, you're good. I mean, he articulates so well. Surprisingly for Marvel Selects because they're usually trash with articulation um, And I got him here taking a selfie <laughs> So this is My favorite video game of all time it, it is like I fell in love with it once I played it played it over and over again and Playing the remastered. I just I love the game man it is my favorite and then next to that my favorite game is Arkham City and here is the Arkham Asylum Batman, though. As you can see, McFarlane Toys 
he did a good job, decent job with this one, you know. Uh, it's just the uh, single jointed elbows killed me. It was alright. I think in my review I gave it like a seven out of ten, seven point five out of ten. But I gotta have a uh, Arkham figure of Batman in my collection, and here is Jules. So got her. Oh, there you can't really see her face. Hold on, let me try to tilt the camera a bit. There you go. She looks really cool. Bummer is that she had a paint job right there on the front of her uh, shirt. So messing with the articulation, my thumb was rubbing on her chest and it kind of scratched up. Wow, that sounded weird, right? That, <laughs> that didn't sound weird at all. <laughs> and uh, it ended up scratching. And yeah, that kind of kind of bummed me out. But yeah, that face sculpt is beautiful though. Hasbro did a great job there. Real good job. And then here is the Hasbro Pulse exclusive, The Foundation. You know, so you'll see a lot of Fortnite figures because Fortnite is my game that I play a lot. I'm almost playing that almost every night, basically, with my homies. So I just wish this came with a Dwayne Johnson, the rock head. An alternate head would have really, really taken this figure to the next level. It articulates pretty well. I mean, it could use better torso articulation. The double diaphragm joint wasn't utilized to its full potential. But it is a good figure. Could have used some more accessories. And uh, here is uh, Lynx. And she looks really cool. I like that tail. Yeah, now we got some uh, Star Wars. So we got Trilla here. And Inquisitor. I love their lightsabers. Darth Revan. And Knights of the Old Republic was an epic game. A classic. And I cannot wait for the remake. Here's Cal Kestis and BD-1. So that dual lightsaber you see there, that was from the deluxe Cal Kestis. Sorry for the shaky cameo. I'm trying to get comfortable here because I am, you know, sitting cross-legged on the floor. And uh, got Darth Nihilus there. And here is Ripley, Fortnite, Victory Royale series. It's a really nice figure like the way it came out. That's one of uh, Hasbro's best Fortnite figures. And gotta have the Joker, right? If I got Arkham Batman, gotta have the Joker. Arkham Origins Deathstroke, which is, uh, yeah, his, his wrist broke. As you can see, I gotta adjust that a little bit, but yeah, the figure kind of sucks with articulation, you know, no thigh silver or anything like that, but uh, you know, it is a great looking figure. No doubt about that. It's a great looking figure. And Arkham Origins is so underrated. That had the best boss battles out of any of the Arkham games. And got my boy Master Chief. So I bought an Xbox Series X not so long ago and started playing uh, the new Halo game. And I love it. And I like the job that uh, Jazzwares did here with the chrome visor. I did have a lot of issues with this figure. My god, I ran through like three figures with a bunch of QC issues until I found the right one with no issues. But, uh, yeah, I believe what came out 2020 and that was in my most disappointed action figure list that year. So again, good figure, but I had to put it on that list because of all the troubles I went through trying to find the good one. Um, and then here's golden ax. My favorite Sega Genesis game of all time is golden ax. So you got the ax battler right there and the skeletons. I do want to get the rest, you know, uh, I know there's Def adder and the rest of the team, uh, pretty pricey. So, you know, just gonna take my time with it. Try not to take too much time because storm collectibles is very, uh, they sell out quick, man. They sell out really quick. And we got, MK11, McFarlane Toys, Katana, and Johnny Cage. I don't have a Katana in my Storm Collectibles collection. As you saw, I did that video. So I got to have a Katana on my display. So, you know, for now, the uh, McFarlane Toys will do. And I'm not going to mix and match lines. So I won't put this Katana with my Storm Collectibles. Especially since a lot of these are traditionally MK1 to 3. I'm not going to throw it off there. Johnny Cage is so cool with that action figure accessory. I love it. I do need a Storm Collectibles Johnny Cage figure. 
and katana. So those gotta be done. Got Shadow Meowsos right there. The Deluxe Fortnite Victory Royale series. Looking really cool. You need a regular Meowsos though. And here is T and Tina, which I was very impressed with. I like the way she articulated and all that. And the fact that she comes with the glider. Even though it's not video game accurate to her actual glider from the Battle Pass. But, you know, I mean... Glider came out really, really cool. It was a tight squeeze for me to put in there, um, but I made it. I made it work. I really wanted to display that glider, so I had to like tilt it a bit to make it work in there. So, yeah. And on the back, we got the big guys from Injustice, <laughs> Storm Collectibles. Again, they're the master of video game figures, and they. I gotta give them props, man. How the hell did they start a DC line without Batman and Superman? <laughs> they went straight for the bad guys, straight for the villains. Like, oh man, props there. That is something. So you got Bane in the back. One of my favorite Batman characters of all time is Bane. You know, I pretty much support any Latino character. And then we have Ares. This Ares is really, really cool. Love that wired fabric cape. Get some cool poses out of him. That dark side is epic, especially with the interchangeable mega beams. Oh, man. This was definitely in my top 10 of 2020. And Lobo as well. He was another one that was in my top 10. And I cannot wait for Storm Collectibles to make uh, the his space hog. They're coming out with that. Don't know when, but we've seen some prototype pictures of it. And it looks freaking beautiful. And that dog there I got from the DCUC, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Lobo. So I figured got to give him his uh, companion there. Uh, I can't wait for that space hog, though. He's going to look so sick on display. And then there, there is Doomsday. And Doomsday is such a beast, man. And Storm Collectibles, they don't miss on the big guys. There is no hit or miss on them. It's always a hit. So that was it. That was my Gamerverse shelf and my MMPR Lightning Collection shelf. Let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite part on display? As always, follow me on Instagram at xmanny87. Leave a like, comment, we'll chat about it. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next video. Peace, peace.